Hey, today I have the pleasure to host JD Brown. Hi, JD. Hey, thanks for having me. How are you doing? Good, good. Another Wednesday, but we're looking forward because only what four days till Summit, so we are right on the cusp of heading to the biggest conference in data and AI. Yeah, indeed. But first, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, absolutely. So, hey, folks, my name is JD Brown. I am a senior specialist solutions architect here at Databricks. Focused in cloud infrastructure and security. So, everything from getting started with Databricks, deploying your first workspace, connecting to all your different sources, and everything in between. And I think you already I, you know what I'm going to ask you to, to do. Can you show us how we can get started quickly or how we can deploy quickly the new, uh, let's say, Databricks workspace environment that yeah. we call Express? Yeah. Absolutely. So Express Setup, and I'm going to share my screen here. Express Setup is one of the new trial experiences that we have here at Databricks. So if you go ahead and go to databricks.com slash try Databricks, you can click on the link in the top right hand corner and just click try Databricks. Once you're on this screen, you're going to get two options. You're going to get use Express Setup or use your existing cloud account. For this, we're going to go ahead and click on continue with Express Setup. Now, when you get here, you'll be able to sign in with Google, connect to Microsoft, or enter your email. Now, if you enter your personal email, you're going to get about $40 worth of credits. So if you're trusting out Databricks to support you as your data and AI platform, we'd really recommend signing up with your, your work email where you'll get $400 worth of credits. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up here and click continue with email. Now, you need to give me a second while we wait for my do authentication token to come on through here. And here at Databricks, I'm sure that many other companies do as well, is that when you get a token coming from a different source, we have to verify with IT just to make sure that it was us who requested it. Again, dual, dual authentication as I like to call it. All right, so we have the verification code and enter that. And so the first step is you want to name your account. So whether you want to name it based on your enterprise, whether you want to name it something else, Go ahead and put it there. Go ahead and click continue. And we're gonna select the country that you're located. So this will default to a specific region based on that country. However, don't worry if it doesn't place you in the region you'd like to, you can always deploy a net new serverless workspace and we'll showcase that after. So I click continue and now it's gonna be setting up my account. It's gonna be setting up my workspace. So this again, it's a fully serverless experience. So if you're familiar with Databricks, you're, you'd be familiar with the fact that we've broken out our compute into our classic compute plane and serverless compute plane. These workspaces deployed after starting with Express Setup are fully serverless. Now look at that. Within minutes, we're in our first workspace. So you can you're go ready ahead. to go. Yeah, if you go ahead and you click on catalog and you go to samples, click on start your serverless warehouse. Again, really we're getting very quick in how fast you can get going here. So. Go ahead and look at the sample data that's going to be coming out. We have access to our bakehouse, our favorite bakery sample data, NYC taxi, because we're all professionals at monitoring taxi routes. And then of course the TPCH uh, benchmarking test. So I'm going to click on bakehouse. I'm going to go into sales transactions and here I'm going to click on genie. And so again, in, within minutes, you are, I would say minutes is even too conservative within a minute or two. You're up and running with your first serverless workspace in your Genie, and you can be running SQL queries using generative AI. Now, two things I like to show off after getting started is one, you can always manage your trial in the top right-hand corner where you can add a credit card at any point. So we'll burn down credits first, but if you want to add your credit card, or you can connect to AWS Marketplace. So if you want to connect to AWS Marketplace Paygo, you can do that as well. Going forward, if you want to see the credits that have expired or you've used, you can go ahead and hover over this bar. Now, that's not it. I feel like a game show host every time I say that. If you want to navigate to accounts.databricks, here you'll have access to your entirety of your account console as well. So this isn't just a workspace when you get started with Express Setup. This is the full thing, the full Databricks experience. So I saw that my region for the initial workspace was deployed in US West 2. My data personally is in US East 1. All I need to do is create a new workspace. In this point, you can either deploy a fully classic workspace with classic computer uh, involved, or we're gonna stick with serverless. So I'm gonna do a serverless workspace 
and name it USGS1. Go to USGS1 and click create. Now, the great thing about this and the great part of this new experience is that not only is it going to create a workspace for you, it's going to create a net new Unity Catalog Metastore, as well as give you a initial workspace catalog backed by default storage. Now, not to say you can always bring in your own data as well. And we always encourage that. Connect your S3 buckets, create catalog within it. So again, within a minute or two, we have our new serverless workspace in the region that we want set up. It's already ready. And I can go ahead and log in and go access data in USD one. So here again, now it's just the full on Databricks experience and all this entire journey. And what that take us, Yusuf, about two minutes total to get from start to already deploying a, another workspace. Yeah, I, I think because of this feature, I'm going to have like one of the shortest video in my in the YouTube channel. Yeah. And not and just to top it off, not to say you can you don't need to stop here. You can keep going and deploy workspaces like I mentioned with the classic compute plane. You can also connect your SSO, your skim integration, and do everything you can do that you're currently doing if you're already a Databricks customer, and even upgrade to enterprise if you'd like. So if you'd like features like IP access lists, backend front end private link for your classic workspaces. You can upgrade right here and underneath you'll see our payment methods as you add them. So adding different payment methods of credit card marketplace, et cetera. And then the, the trial credits that you've been granted. So I think the, uh, the key word is simplicity. Absolutely. Simplicity and scalable, get started, get going and continue to bring in, bring in your data and experience all the awesome features and stop worrying about cloud infrastructure. Just get into the awesome generative AI features and the real data intel, the power of the data intelligence platform from data warehousing to really cool areas like, like Genie Spaces that saved me a whole lot of time writing SQL queries for these demos. Awesome. Awesome. And that's like an additional question. For now, I see that I have like only serverless compute over here, but what if I can still deploy the workspace in the, the old fashioned way? And that's the old option. That's the other option we had in the first landing page. That's right. Yep. So absolutely. So you can always deploy once you get started with Express Setup, a net new workspace that has classic compute enabled. So to do so, if we go to the account console, go to workspaces and click create workspace you're still going to see the use existing cloud account where you can use the quick start, which has been a hallmark of these accounts for quite some time now, or manually as well. Now, the one thing that I'll point out is that for Express Setup, these are Databricks on AWS accounts. So if you're getting started with Azure or GCP, just something to take note. If you had started with Express Setup, it will be on AWS. That's perfect. Thank you so much for this very, very short video, but I think it was the ultimate keyword, simplicity and velocity. Yep. And we can kick off, hey, your YouTube shorts career and put it on there instead. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, JD. Yep, of course. Thanks for having me.